This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. In the season opener, Ben Jacobson defeated North Dakota to become the winningest coach in the history of the UNI men's basketball program. Jacobson is a true class act and one of the most respected college coaches in the country. Here's a look back at this big milestone. Two NCAA tournament wins, five 20 win seasons, a sweet 16, and 30 wins in a season. Those milestones came in Ben Jacobson's first eight years as head coach. His first win in year number nine places this longtime Panther at number one on UNI's all-time career wins list. Surpassing Eldon Miller's 164 wins in 11 seasons and O.M. Nordley's total of 166 wins in 13 years, there have been 20 other head coaches lead the purple and old gold. His personal relationship and deep respect for all the coaches that came before him gives Ben an understanding of how special this UNI basketball program is and the importance of its leaders. And Coach Barry and, and Coach Miller uh, and Mac the same way, you know, the way in which they feel about the University of Northern Iowa is very similar to, to Norm Stewart in um, how they feel about this place and what this place has meant to them. And so to be able to get here with Mac and have the kind of start that we did and, and get it kind of turned for this um, period of time, if you will, it, uh, it's something that, you know, that I'm very proud of. Jacobson embraces the role as a college head coach being much more than just X's and O's. It's representing a university and community, and it's being a molder of men, not just a coach. A philosophy he learned from his playing days at North Dakota. Mac is our assistant and Rich Glass is, is our head coach, and the influence that Coach Glass has had on my life, both personally and professionally, and then Mac, you know, both guys taking a chance to me when I was young. Coach gave me a job when I was 25. To take what we've learned uh, from basketball and how to use it after after we're done. Um, and so he's a you know he's a he's a mentor for me, a uh, role model for me. And I I'm 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 lucky. You know I'm I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to learn from him. A lot of people will look at Sweet 16s and will look at at uh, this school offered him and that school wanted him, but. His perspective, one is his priority of family, but, but his perspective on what we're really supposed to be doing here is what stands out to me about Ben Jacobson. A two-time MVC Coach of the Year in 2009 and 2010, Jacobson won the biggest game of his career, beating number one ranked and number one seeded Kansas in the NCAA tournament. And then I think he's always trying to, to push the envelope in terms of what's important for the Valley, just not what's important for you and I. How can we continue to get better as a league? He's going to have high standards for everything. Uh, and he's going to, he's going to um, expect a lot out of himself, uh, expect a lot of, out of us players, um, his, his staff. You know, he's just, that's just how he is. He's professional. We have to do the best job we can here for the University of Northern Iowa to represent our institution the best way we can and to move our basketball program as far forward as we can, building on what's been done here, and then also representing the Valley. Coach Jacobson has the respect of many coaches, players, and administrators through the MVC and beyond. The number one quality that can be attributed to that respect is his calm demeanor and top-notch character. And obviously the winning, winning allows you to get respect, but I think even before, before the winning comes, you could see the respect was there because of the consistency in the teams. You learn a lot about, a peop about people when they win, and you learn a lot about people when they lose. And I think, you know, obviously Coach, Coach Jake, Win or lose, usually is the same guy. You know, he's very even keeled, um, and that's the way he treats the players. And I think that's the way, you know, he treats uh, opposing coaches. 